Hey, what's up, cool people? My name is Veronica, and firstly, I just want to apologize for not uploading videos lately. And to be honest, the main reason is school because I got back to school about a couple of weeks ago, and the homework has just been too much. But I can't be complaining about that now because I should actually be grateful that I can go to school. Secondly, I want to apologize again for the bad quality, and the reason for that is because the PS4 now has a copyright protection. So it basically means that I can't upload any gameplays from my cap using my capture card because Sony's trying to prevent illegal content uploads such as movies and stuff like that. So what I have to do now is I have to share the gameplay to Facebook and then from Facebook I have to download it to my computer and then that compresses the file so it makes the quality bad, it makes it bad like yeah. And one last thing before I get to my main topic. So if you're a new subscriber, then you may not know that there's a community channel run by I'm Apex Energy. And it's basically, if you don't know, it's basically a channel where you can submit videos to and other people get to watch them. And then you can actually gain some subscribers from it. And if you have any other questions, you can just go to, I advise you to check out the video where I explain everything with detail. And the link to that channel will be in the description below and the link to that video will be in the description below as well. So in today's video, I'll be talking about how technology has been changing the world and taking over people's lives. <laughs> taking over people's jobs. Yes, that's what I meant to say. And so let's go a few centuries back in time. Let's do this back to the future thing. So back then, farmers actually got people to go around and harvest crops, whereas today, they have tractors for that. So that means that there are less jobs available. And let's also take architecture. So they they still do that now. They still draw the design of the building they want to do, but now they perfection their design using computers and technology and all of that. And back then that wasn't used and still buildings were made really nice. So that's an example. And also teachers. Like nowadays there's no teacher that doesn't use PowerPoint or at least most of them do. And they also use smart boards and websites and they rely on all of these things whereas back then they just used a blackboard with chalk so that's how simple it was and people learned the same way and so similarly students nowadays they rely on google and wikipedia and stuff and back then they still learned the same things but using books so that's how you can tell that people nowadays are relying so much on technology and then back then they learned the same things but using handmade things, doing things for themselves, not just basically going on Google and finding out the information. And also, oh yes, these people annoy me so much. They go to this, they go to these like nice places, for example, a concert, and instead of actually watching and enjoying the concert, they get everything on tape. They record everything. So they paid hundreds or like, they pay like more than $50 or pounds to watch a famous person live and instead of doing that they watch them through a little phone screen and that just anno annoys me and that just shows you how people like recording stuff so now let's go back to the future and you will find that even now today loads of technology are actually taking over people's jobs for example here in london they have the dlr and i don't know if you have a similar thing in the usa but here the dlr is a train that drives itself and there's also online shopping and so many other things and imagine in the future like online shopping can actually be the main thing like you might not even have to go out of your house go to the supermarket and then actually be served I mean be attended by a cashier and so cashiers would lose their jobs if online shopping actually takes over and also like vehicles in the future vehicles could actually be driven by themselves they could actually be programmed to drive themselves to places for example buses, planes, taxis, and so many other things, boats, speedboats, things like that. So just imagine getting onto a taxi in New York and saying, taxi, take me to this location. And then the taxi says, sorry, not recognized, repeat it again. And then it's gonna laugh at your accent if you have a very heavy French accent or a uh, foreign accent. Just imagine that, imagine you having to struggle with this machine. That's just a thought. And also waiters. Like now you have waiters, human waiters coming up to you and saying, can I, can I take your order and stuff like that. And in the future, you might actually have machines 
telling you, can I take your order? And then once again, you might have to actually focus a lot on making your accent sound perfect so that it can be recognized. And also, drive throughs Now, they have machines to actually, like, walkie-talkie so that the, the person can hear what you want. But in the future, it might actually just be a machine talking to you instead of a human being on the other side of the line. And also, the thing that's really bugging me is cinemas and Netflix. Now, you have Netflix, but not many people use it. Well, loads of people use it, but there's still people that go to the cinema. But in the future, cinemas might actually be closed down and then Netflix might be taking over films. So yeah, I hope that got your thinking caps on. And anyway, I'm going to be having Q&A soon, so you know the drill, just leave a question and leave Q I mean, write Q&A before the actual question so that I know that you want it to be in the video. And so yeah, anyway guys, that's it for me. See you next time. Stay cool guys. See you later.